Yo, what's happening guys? Welcome to your 16th AngularJS tutorial and in this video we're going to talk about views and routing. <laughs> Alright then, dogs. So, in our application so far, we just have one single view, right? It's this thing right here, the list of ninjas. But when our application gets a bit bigger, it's going to typically have different views. Um, for example, some kind of home view. Um, then this list view, then maybe a contact view, an about view, that kind of thing. Now, I already said in a previous tutorial that AngularJS is primarily used for single page applications. That means when we click on a link, it doesn't go to another page exactly, it just requests a different view, and then that view is placed in the content area right here. So it's all going to become clearer as we go through this example. What I'm going to do is I'm going to make this into a view file and I'm going to make this into a view file. Then we're going to set up our routing so that when we click on one of these links, it requests the appropriate view and injects it into the content over here. OK, so the way this works is we're going to grab this content right here, which represents this view. I'm just going to cut that. I'm going to leave the header in because that's going to stay on the top of every page. But then what I'm going to do is come over here and create a new folder called views. And we're going to store all our views in there. So let's create a new file. And this one is going to be called, um, we'll call this directory.html because this is going to be the directory of the list of ninjas. And then I'm just going to pop that right in there. I'm going to create a new view. Uh, new view and this is going to be called home.html. And for now, we'll just put in a H1 and we'll say home page. We'll fill out that content a little bit more later on. So we've created our two views now, one for the home content and one for the list ninjas content. Now what we need to do is tell Angular where to insert these views on this index file. OK, so what we're going to do is just insert it here underneath the header where the content was previously. Now, to tell Angular where to insert it, we're going to need to use a directive and the directive is called ngView. Now this can be a tag directive or you can apply it as an attribute. Now I'm going to use an attribute because I'm going to put it on a main tag like that because this is going to be the main content of whatever view we're on. So I'll say main, then the directive which is ng-view and then just close that off. And now when we request a view, AngularJS is going to know where to put that view. Okay, so we're going to set up our routes in a minute so that Angular recognizes when we go to a particular URL, for example, forward slash uh, directory, Angular will know to go out, it will get the directory view, grab the contents of that, and then it knows where to dump it. It's going to dump it within these tags where we specified this ng view directive. OK, so now let's go ahead and sort out our routing and we do that in the config. Now, before we get into doing the routing, we need to inject a dependency into this module right here. OK, now when we create this module, I said we use these square brackets right here to put our dependencies in. Now, when it comes to routing, we need to inject a dependency because the routing library is a completely separate library. It's not automatically bundled in with the core um, AngularJS file right here. It's not in this one. Now, I've already gone ahead and downloaded angularroute.min.js, so I'm going to link to that in a second, and I'm going to pop that dependency in here. But if you want to go and download it, all you need to do is click this download AngularJS one, go to browse additional modules, and you'll find it down here somewhere. There you go, angularroute.min. So go ahead, download that, pop it into this folder right here, and uh, then we're going to link to it and inject it right here. So before we do anything, let's link to it up here. All you need to do is put it right under your angular.min.js file. So just pop your script tag there, linking to this file. Then we can save it and go ahead and inject the dependency right here. Now, the dependency is called ng route. So when we pop that in there, it knows we're going to be using this file right here, this route library. OK, and we need to explicitly put it into our module so that we can use the functionality of ng route in our config method. And that's what we're going to do now. OK, so remember, I said the config method was a method which fires a load of code before your application runs. So any kind of code or configuration that you need to run before your application starts, we put into the config method. 
So we're going to put all of our routing stuff into the config method because we want to set all that up before anything starts so that it recognizes a URL that a user goes to. Okay. All right then. So let's create that config method. So we'll just say my ninja app, which is this variable right here, the module. We'll say my ninja app dot config. And then what we're going to do is pass through the dependencies first of all and I'm going to do it the same way as I did over here where we pass through the dependencies in an array to protect them from minification okay so we don't need to give config a name or anything like we did the controller we just need to pass through the dependencies and the function all right so the dependency that we want is called route provider okay so we're not putting in ng route here that's the name of this kind of module that we're using. But because we inserted that module right here as a dependency, it allows us to pass through this route provider object. This route provider object is part of this ng route module. Okay, so this is what we're going to pass through this object. And this object is going to let us set up all these different routes. So now we pass through that. Let's pass our function through. And again, we have to pass it through here as well, this object, like we did with the scope down there. So let's pass in route provider again. And then let's go ahead and set up our routes. Okay, cool. Okay then, so the first thing we need to do is say route provider. We're gonna use that object and we're gonna say dot when. Now I'm gonna pop this on the next line just to keep it nice and kind of tidy because we're gonna use this a couple of times. And uh, this when method, we need to pass through a couple of things. The first thing we need to pass through is the URL. So we're saying when a user visits, uh, visit a particular URL, do something. Okay, so the URL is going to be forward slash home. So when they view that, we're going to do something. And the second parameter we need to pass through is an object. And this object is going to contain, uh, contain some different properties. Okay, now the property I want to use is template URL. Okay, so this is the view. We're going to specify where it can find the view for when a user visits forward slash home. So the view can be found in the view folder forward slash home.html. All right, so when someone visits forward slash home, Angular is going to know that the template URL is at this path, views home. It's going to grab that right there and it's going to dump it into the view section here. Okay. So that's all we need to do for that one. Then we want to do another when. So dot when like that. In fact, I put that on the next line. Dot when. And then we're going to pass through the same kind of things. This time it's going to be forward slash directory, which is going to be the list of ninjas. We're going to pass through that object with some um, options in it. And the first thing is going to be the template URL again, which will be views I forgot my s on there so views and then forward slash directory dot html so this is the view for the directory right there uh, we're going to pass through another uh, property here and this is going to be the controller okay so when we visit this directory we're telling which view we're telling angular which view we want to use and also which controller we want to use for this directory okay and i'll show you what we can do in a second with that so controller and it's going to be this controller right here this ninja controller because that's going to be controlling the functionality of this view right okay so we've done our two whens for those two pages now we're going to use a method called otherwise and we're going to pass through an object and we're saying okay so if you visit any other page whatsoever that's not one of these then we're going to redirect to and we'll put in forward slash home so any other url that a user visits is going to redirect to this url right here and it's going to grab this view okay perfect so that's our routing setup right there we just need to do a couple more things and you can already see that we're grabbing forward slash home here is grabbing this home view and it's inserting it already okay so that's because we just visited any page like that and because it wasn't home and it wasn't directory it redirected to home and it grabbed that view okay cool so one more thing we need to do and that is to go into the directory.html file 
and I'm going to remove this controller, this Ninja controller, okay? So let's get rid of the closing div as well. And the reason I can do that is because I've told AngularJS right here that for this content, it's going to be controlled by the Ninja controller. So now it knows that this is all going to be controlled by that Ninja controller and we can use all of those scope objects right here and functions in that view without putting the Ninja controller div right here. Okay, so it's just another way of telling Angular that this content right here is going to be controlled by the Ninja controller. It's just a little bit better. It de-bloats the HTML a bit more, okay? So now we've done that, if we go to forward slash directory, we're going to see the directory right here, yeah? And uh, if we go to home, we're going to see home. And you might notice this little hash right here. This is just the way that AngularJS works with routing. Um, we can get rid of it, and we're going to cover that later in the clean URLs. But uh, for now, just kind of accept that this is the way that AngularJS works. It uses this kind of hash symbol to uh, create its routes, right? And that's how we link to different pages. Because right now, this is linking to nothing. List Ninjas doesn't link anywhere. Home doesn't link anywhere. So let's go into the header. And all we need to do is go to hash for home forward slash home. Yeah. And then for this one, we just say hash forward slash directory like that. Okay. So now when we click list ninjas, it's going to go to the directory to this URL. When we click home, it's going to go to this page like that. So that's our routing pretty much set up. And uh, like I say, we have to put the hash in the href attributes right there then a forward slash for this to work that's just the way that angular works okay and uh, when we specify the routes in our config we don't put that hash in okay this is after the hash so there we go guys that is routing and uh, how we create views if you have any questions whatsoever feel free to drop a comment down below otherwise guys i'll see you in the very next tutorial